The 2015 Mercedes CLS Class The Mercedes-Benz CLS was introduced for the 2005 model year and went on sale in the United States in January 2005. Based on the previous generation E-Class, the four-door coupe started a whole niche in the automotive industry, soon to be followed by Audi and BMW. The first generation model was offered with a bevy of V6 and V8 engines that delivered as much as 507 horsepower. The second generation coupe arrived in 2010, but the US spec version didn't arrive until the 2012 model year. Unlike its predecessor, the current model gained a 4.7-liter V8 and a 2.1-liter, inline-4 diesel to go with the already available 3.0-liter oil burner. The shooting brake body style was introduced in late 2012, but without being green-lighted for the US market. In 2015, the CLS is set for a facelift. Four years since showing up in global showrooms, the current generation 2015 CLS is getting its well-deserved facelift. The update's real focus is the interior, where a new color display is in place to put an end to an endless string of complaints in regards to the coupe's infotainment system. A couple of new engines are also on the table, although at least one of them won't be available in the United States. Updated June 19, 2014, Mercedes-Benz has announced the UK pricing for the 2015 CLS class. The coupe starts at £46,500 $79,180 as of June 19, 2014 for the CLS 220 Bluetech and peaks at £86,500 $147,293 as of June 19, 2014 for the CLS 63 AMG S. The same models in the shooting brake start at £48,080 $81,871 as of June 19, 2014, and £87,000 $148,144 as of June 19, 2014. There is no mention yet on the US pricing. Click past the jump to read more about the 2015 Mercedes CLS class. Exterior the side intakes have grown in size, and while the trapezoidal centerpiece sports the same shape, it is narrower and adds a bit of aggressiveness to the bumper. As expected, the facelift didn't bring major changes to the CLS exterior, aside from the innovative multi-beam LED headlights. Similar to the Matrix LED system introduced by Audi on the A8, the technology uses information coming from a camera located behind the windshield to optimize lighting according to the road ahead and oncoming traffic. Other than that, visual changes are limited to the usual nips and tucks attributed to a facelift, the sheet becomes crisper while retaining its familiar looks. Up front, a revised bumper changes the intake configuration of the lower apron. The side intakes have grown in size, and while the trapezoidal center piece sports the same shape, it is narrower and adds a bit of aggressiveness to the bumper. The large front grille is less angular and the headlamps are a tad skinnier. Speaking of headlamps, the unit also incorporate daytime running lights previously mounted in the bumper. Around back, changes are almost non-existent, with only the bumper sporting a different shape. The area right above the diffuser-like piece is smoother now and provides the CLS rear end with a milder appearance. The taillights are nearly identical, although Mercedes added a few extra LED units behind those plastic covers. The side view remained unchanged, which comes at no surprise really. CLS shooting brake Same goes for the CLS shooting brake, which was unveiled alongside the four-door coupe. The same subtle modifications can be spotted inside and out, while the wagon's load capacity was kept at 54.7 cubic feet 1,550 liters. The good news, though, is that the shooting brake is finally crossing the pond to the United States. The German manufacturer has yet to confirm that officially, but the commercial you can watch above shows the wagon wandering the streets of New York with Michigan plates and mandatory amber lights. 2015 CLS Class vs. 2014 CLS Class Interior Things get a lot better inside, where you can find a number of new features and gadgets. The most important add-on is the 8-inch color display that comes to replace the old unit. Mercedes got a lot of heat for the small infotainment system fitted in the second-gen CLS and it seems the Germans are finally living up to their potential. 
The new screen brings the dashboard to current luxury standards and enables users to easily browse through its functions even when having to keep an eye on the road. The most important add-on is the 8-inch color display that comes to replace the old unit. The cabin's sporty and elegant feel has been enhanced further by means of redesigned, three-spoke steering wheel and a revised center console. The unit has four buttons instead of two, making navigating through options a less complicated task. Five interior colors and six trim and leather finishes will be available on the 2015 CLS at launch, but expect host of bespoke materials and configurations to roll out in the future. As with most Mercs, the CLS will too benefit from AMG-crafted individualization options and packages. All you need is a fat wallet. Drivetrain Five powertrains make up the facelifted CLS lineup, two of which are brand new. Five powertrains make up the facelifted CLS lineup, two of which are brand new. The first one is a diesel mill that displaces 2.1 liters and sits at the bottom of the range. The four-banger cranks out 167 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque and adds the 220 Bluetech designation to the CLS. As you might have already guessed, this unit won't make it to the US right above the 220 Bluetech sits the 250 Bluetech. Motivated by the same 2.1-liter turbodiesel, this model benefits from 201 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of twist. The third and most powerful diesel in the lineup comes in the form of a 3.0-liter V6 that pumps 254 ponies and 457 pound-feet to the wheels. The CLS 400 comes to replace the previous CLS 350 and carries a biturbo, 3.0-liter V6 under its bonnet. The engine is rated at 328 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque. Moving over to gasoline engines, the CLS 400 comes to replace the previous CLS 350 and carries a biturbo, 3.0-liter V6 under its bonnet. The engine is rated at 328 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque, which account for an extra 27 horses and 81 pound-feet compared to the previous model, respectively. Lastly, the range-topping CLS will take the streets with the same 402 horsepower and 442 pound-feet on tap. Of course, there's more power to be had from the CLS 63 AMG. Transmission-wise, all non 4 Modic models except the CLS 400 will be equipped with the company's new 9G Tronic, 9-speed automatic transmission. On the other hand, the all-wheel drive versions, including those scheduled to cross the pond to the US, will keep their 7G Tronic Plus, 7-speed gearbox until the 9G Tronic is modified to work with 4MATIC technology. Prices US pricing hasn't been revealed as of June 19, 2014, but the Germans have released pricing information for both the coupe and the shooting brake in the United Kingdom. The 2015 CLS Coupe retails from £46,500 $79,180 as of June 19, 2014, in the base 220 Bluetech guise. This sticker actually makes it cheaper than the pre-facelift model, but bear in mind that the entry-level version sports a smaller engine. Opt for a gasoline engine and pricing begins at £55,850 while the range-topping CLS 63 AMGS fetches at least £86,500 Moving over to the CLS shooting brake, the base 220 Bluetech kicks off at £48,080 $81 while the 350 Bluetech starts from £51,400 $87,530. Lastly, the CLS 63 AMGS, which is the only wagon with a gasoline engine, retails from £87,000 $148,091. Expect the US spec 2015 CLS Coupe with V8 power to wear a sticker between $77,000 and $87,000, with the CLS 63 AMG to fetch more than $100,000. 2015 CLS Class Coupe Prices, UK. 2015 CLS Shooting Brake Prices, UK. Competitors. Audi A7.
Audi came a bit late to the four-door coupe party, but the A7 is sleek and powerful enough to give the CLS a run for its money. Although not as slippery as the CLS, the A7 is represented by an elegant and fresh design that keeps it away from Audi's dull styling language. Once inside, the A7 will steal your heart with its enormous amount of leather and wood and the craftsmanship that put them all together. Two engines are available in the US. The supercharged 3.0-liter TFSI delivers 310 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque and sends the A7 flying from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. With this engine under the hood, you are likely to get 28 mpg on the highway and 18 mpg in the city. The other mill is a 3.0-liter turbodiesel rated at 240 horses and 428 pound-feet. Although 0 to 60 mph times drops to 5.5 seconds on this model, fuel economy goes up to 38 mpg highway and 24 mpg city. The A7 is priced from $64,500. BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe The BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe seems to be the least appealing of the pack. The Munich-developed sedan won't win any beauty contests, while the cabin is a tad too sober for its sporty character. We say, sporty, because the BMW packs more power than its competitors. Besides the 3.0-liter inline-six that churns 315 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque in the 640i, there's a 4.4-liter, V8 mil that takes things to a whole new level in the 650i. The Braunier unit generates a whopping 445 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque, sending the 6 Series Grand Coupe to a 4.6 second sprint from not to 60 miles per hour. When equipped with the company's all-wheel drive system, the benchmark drops to 4.5 seconds. That's an achievement the CLS and A7 can't brag about without an AMG or RS badge, respectively. But the extra power and speed don't come cheap, as the 6 Series Grand Coupe retails from $77,900. Conclusion Granted, the 2015 CLS is not the most exciting facelift on a luxury car. A pair of bumpers and a diamond radiator grille won't knock anyone's socks off, but the new infotainment display screen and the multi-beam LEDs will help the CLS stay fresh for at least a couple of years. As it turns out, we're still not getting a diesel engine and we'll probably have to settle for the gasoline V6 and V8 units. On the flip side, the shooting brake is very likely to hit US shores, which is enough to keep us on our toes until further notice. Love it multi-beam LED headlamps are a cool feature new infotainment display revised interior with new customization options upgraded V6 engine with more power and torque shooting brake finally coming to the US? Leave it visual facelift is too mild still no diesel for the US still waiting for pricing and availability. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.